Hi there, my name's Andrew from Parker Adams Boat Sales. We are bringing a new type of video today and something we want to try and bring to the channel is some of our top tips on boating and also some of the gadgets that we use during boating experiences that just make our life easier. And one of those things is a Hurley Davit. So what I want to do is explain how a Hurley Davit works and why I think it's an absolute game changer when it comes to keeping a tender on the back of the boat. Now, you may see passerelles. Passerelles are used a lot in, in the uh, Mediterranean, that's the word, um, where you need rear boarding. So a lot of stern to berthing. Passerelles can also lift up tenders and put them on the bathing platform, which is great, but I have to say, I don't always find them the most user friendly because often the passerelle middle section isn't in the middle of the bathing platform. So you end up having to pull the tender in whilst operating the passerelle and it's very hard to do it single handed. So what I want to do is show how a Hurley Davit system works, which basically allows, what is this? This is a Highfield 310 with a Mercury 20 on the back here, which is a brilliant family um, tender for me, What the, how this goes on to the back of the boat. I haven't prepped anything at all, so I'll show you right from the start. Now, I've gone for the electric winch option on this because I do a lot of boating with my parents and my parents are in their 80s. And so for that reason, I want to make life as easy as possible. And my dad, who's 81, is able to recover this tender onto this platform with ease. So the only thing I've done to prep is I've just put on the two um, straps here, which are to lock down the tender. But you can see they fit in really, really easily. All you've got is like a key lock system. You just pop them in and twist them and then wait for the tender to arrive. So what I'll do is first of all, put on the extension. So I just slide that into there and then add on the electric winch system. Now this is powered by a battery. I reckon you probably get about 10, 10 or so goes on this. So it's quite a lot big battery, but I tend to charge it after every couple of goes just in case it were to run out. There's a pin that I just lock into place there and that now has the winch in place. There's a system on here where I just lift out that pin twist it and then this free runs and if I bring this all the way down to the back here and then just leave that hanging and then lock back off the pin that's now ready to go and that's now locked into position in order to get the tender up onto the back all I need to do is the following untie the tender and clip on that clip so what I'll do is bring the tender so that the tender sits at about 90 degrees to the bathing platform and then pop this clip onto the, the tender line. Now what I do on this one is I actually attach this to a bowlin that I've got just underneath here, which is on the bow line of the tender. So I just clip that onto place and that's now nicely on, in place. And to bring the tender up, all I need to do is angle the Hurley davit in the direction of the tender and then press this remote control. The remote control to bring the tender up just like that. What I'm now going to do is keep pressing the button. I'll stop it for a second there just to make sure everything's aligned. The only thing that I haven't done is pull my bow line out of the way. So I'll just do that now. So I'll just pull that out of the way. It seems to have got stuck just on the back. Do what I can do that a bit later. So I'll leave that for now. And then just continue winching the tender up. Now, when I get to this point, all I need to do, I can do it with one hand, is just twist the tender into position. The tender is now on the back of the boat, and it literally is as simple as that. My process now is just to get these clips, and I then la latch these onto the bathing platform and onto the back of the boat, and then ratchet these down. Make sure that keyhole is nice and tight in there. Ratchet that down and then do the same on the front where there's a little um, hook which is inside the aluminium hull. I do the same on there. Just for belt and braces when I'm going along, I also tie a stern line and a bow line on. I don't know they're needed, but I'd always rather be um, cautious than have, ex have an accident. But for me, this is a fantastic solution. Now to put the boat back in the water, you need to do the exact opposite. So if I just unclip the ratchet strap, unclip that and then I, all I do is I take hold of the handle angle the boat into the down position and this time just press down
boat's now lowering itself into the water. Stop the winch, lift that bucket back up into position and just unattach this line like so. And the boat is now completely free and ready to use as a family. I love the Hurley Davit system. I think it's such a simple and easy to uh, use system and we thoroughly recommend it at Parker Adams. Any questions, please let us know. And the other thing to mention is this Hurley Davit system is also available in our new Superstore. So if you're interested in buying one, then please get in touch with us. Thanks so much for watching.